Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and problems on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Here with us today, we have a Samsung Galaxy A23 smartphone, and this device does indeed have the Google account lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the initial setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was factory reset, and to continue, we either need to verify the previous security screen pin lock that was used, or if we tap on use my Google account instead, it'll pull up the second option that tells us that we can also sign in with a Google account that was previously used on the device. So we've been contacted over the years by tons of different people asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or also these days, unfortunately, a lot of times, someone will buy a used device from someone on the internet that ends up being a scammer. So then after the purchase, the buyer discovers the lock, and of course, they weren't going to have any of the previous user's login information, and then the seller has usually long since disappeared since it's a fraudulent transaction. But we're making this video to show any interested customers that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login information. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast and stable internet connection. And we can connect remotely directly to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure that we're doing here with this device. So actually, as I've been speaking, I've been running our unlock program here on the device that goes ahead that goes ahead and takes care of the lock for us. The phone needs just a minute or so to finish rebooting here. And then after that, we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the initial setup steps without running into that Google lock page. All right, so it is rebooted and it's at the welcome screen here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start and begin going through everything. We gotta to agree to the terms and conditions, of course. And then we actually don't need Wi-Fi, so we're just gonna turn that off and then hit skip. And we don't need to copy any apps or data. And then we have to agree to Google services. And we don't need a screen lock, so we're going to skip that also. Now, these options are one that we could never see previously when the Google lock was enabled. We would have seen it already by now, so that's a great indication that the lock has been successfully removed. But we're just going to keep skipping everything to make sure that we can get all the way to the home screen, which we should be able to see right about now. There we go. Home screen is loading up. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features, and it is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, we're going to pop down into the settings just to show you exactly what we're working with. So under About Phone, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy A23, and then the model number there, the SMA23M is the model number of this specific device, and then the DS just indicates that it's a dual SIM device where you can have two SIM cards on it. So if you have one of these models and need help getting the FRP lock removed, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information can be found right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that shows our contact details there as well. 
While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of different models of devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.